Now it's time to get into the offensive breakdown, man. Y'all see him, man, looking like that, huh? You know what I'm saying? Looking like that uh, DH gate, um, Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Yeah. <laughs> DH gate. <laughs> <laughs> what you got on the offense, my man? That's a good one. Um, but yeah, again, you know. Shout out to everybody in Chicago, man. You know, North Side Blue, South Side Red. You know how it go. Um, at one point, they said that we had uh, 91st or 91 first quarter points. We scored. I think we ended up scoring more than that, but that was the most in the NFL. We're, uh, we, this was our eighth game, scoring 30-plus this season, which is a franchise record. After a season low rushing yards last week, I think it was like 40 or something like that, 49, 45, 45 something crazy. 45. Um, to a season high of rushing yards this week, you know, um, the most rushing yards since 1980 or something like that. Uh, we came out using six offensive linemen, swinging them boys around, come, came out with a fullback, heavy play action, running that mug. This is – I wish we could bottle this game and just every single goddamn week. This is, this is, <laughs> this is, this is, the, this is the game. This is the game. This is the team that I would like us to be, just like this, both sides of the ball. I know I'm talking about offense here, but man, oh man, this was a good game. This was this was nice to see. Um, I didn't feel bad for Chicago, but it's like, damn, you know, <laughs> you know, because you know and we've been in this position before. We play in the team, and it's like, all right, man, you know, <laughs> we can't pass the stick, but you know, damn. So you know, good game, man. This is the game that we should have did. We, you know, this was a game that was laid out in front of us. We could lay the egg, but we did not. I'm glad to see we did not uh, lay the egg. We got to see the return. Of healthy DeAndre Swift looking very, very good, very nice and energetic. We got to see Swaggy pound that thing. Man, it's just, oh, man, this is beautiful to see. This is just beautiful to see. Again, um, two TDs to Brock Wright. Like I said, that's Jim's, <laughs> that's Jim's guy. So shout out to, um, shout out to you know, the boy Jim. And um, and shout out to Brock Wright. Uh, Brock Wright, if I'm doing it right. Shout out Brock to Jim. Uh, right. mm -hmm. um, and that 12 TD catches by tight ends, that's a franchise record. Um, we got to see a Craig Reynolds sighting, the return of Craig Reynolds. Um, play action of James Mitchell on the play that he was in there. Uh, it was just it was just good stuff all over the place, all over the place, man. We got to see a little bit of hoopla to J-Mo uh, with that big game, led to a Williams touchdown. Um, man, it just it was uh we we've heard we've heard the complaints that the offense had not been as creative as it had once been at one point in the season. I think we got to see some of that this week. They did that nice play action. It was like a fake jet. It was like a fake jet, a fake swing, and then he uh, sent it out to Swift, and then, he, you know, he ran it all the way on in there. It was just a good game, man. This is a good game. Um, I know it's going to be a different uh, atmosphere, you know, surface or, you know, turf or whatever other stuff next week. But whatever it is, you can take this game plan into next week. You know what I'm saying? I, I know, you know, we, this is a great win. I want to green pay. That's the, that's the most important game this, this year. But yeah. we got to win that game. But I – Ain't no way in hell you could, they can't stop. They can't stop what we did to Chicago. We, so we need to take a snapshot of that. Or what's uh, take write it down, take a picture. I don't give a fuck, whatever it is. <laughs> take that and we need to put it in a ship container and move it to Green Bay next week. Okay, man. It, it is simple. Offense was balanced 265 rushing, 255 receiving, no turnovers. And they ran the score up. And they got, like you said, you got Jamie with that touch uh, on the reverse, man. Try to try to get him in a passing game, but um, it was just that the, the tunnel screen was just kind of clogged up. So Goff just did the right thing, threw the ball into the ground. But you got him in a big play and got him out there, man, and got some electric uh, a play, some excitement out there on the field, man. And it was just a total just annihilation of the Bears' defense. It was just a straight-up ass whooping. I mean, it was – you can't say it wasn't because it was. I mean, it was just right there. I mean, when you have rack up 500 yards of offense, it, there is no doubt that you should be winning that game. So – and it, it was it it was a shootout on one side because the um because the Bears brought a, a, a knife to a gunfight. And <laughs> that's what that's what happened, man. It, I mean, the Lions had their guns running all game. I love to see it. I love Swift to see him out there run a touchdown, passing touchdown. Um Goff just had total command of the offense, man. 70% mm -hmm. passing. I mean, he just had total control. They did anything they wanted to do. Pretty much on both sides of the ball, they did it. I mean, 
I mean, after the first quarter, it was absolutely just whatever we wanted to do, we did it on uh, for the Detroit Lions. What you got, Coach Jones? Yeah, um, I just want to say shout out to LL's play cousin Jared Goff. Uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> hey, Jared Goff has the best <laughs> passer rating <laughs> at four fields in the season. I just yeah. want to, you know. Um, better, better than better than Stafford. I mean, Stafford, I'm not saying he's a, he I'm broke, not saying he's a he better quarterback his, uh, than Matt Stafford. He's doing his thing though. He yeah. broke. Um, it, it, I hope I'm not about to interrupt you, but he broke Stafford um home touchdown record too. Yep, yeah, sure did. I was just about to be on to that one too. So uh, my bad, my apologies. <laughs> oh, oh, you good? You good? You good? Jared Goff is here to stay. Um, <laughs> man, <laughs> he's <laughs> here to stay. Yeah. Uh man. I don't want him to go nowhere. Now, I if you mean, playing like that? Nope. <laughs> I don't, man. I'm telling you right now, if if, if we were to get rid of golf in the off season, we would have the same anomaly happen to us to happen to the Vikings when they got rid of my man's for Kirk Cousins. The Vikings have been back nowhere since, uh, since that year. So, um, but yeah, man, shout out to Jared Goff, man. That everybody flexing out there, and uh, the run game, the run game. Whew, the run game, man. Um, it was just, it was like it, like you said, Kurt, create creativity. You know what I'm saying? Getting little passes off the DeAndre Swift in the flats to get to get him. You know what I'm saying? Get him moving. Get him. He's he's a Alvin Kamara type back. I'm telling you, I tried to tell everybody a few days ago. Alvin Kamara is is DeAndre Swift's biggest comparison. He's the closest person in the league to yeah. DeAndre Swift. I think, healthy, I think yeah. I don't know if Kamara. I don't know if Kamara got that swift a little, swift a little. You know, he got that. Yeah, I think Swift's more good. elusive. I think Kamara yeah. is is more. He has more burst. He's faster than Swift, but yeah, uh, I think yeah. Swift's more elusive. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. Yeah, he got yeah. he got a little, he got a little more juke to him. Yeah, Look at that. Confident. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Like, he got a little more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know what, man? It, it was it was good. It, it was perfect, man. There's there's like that was the perfect game plan on offense, and I'm just glad that. Hey, I think we've seen the evolution of Ben Johnson yesterday too. I think Ben yeah. Johnson, because you gotta think this is his first, this is his first rodeo. This is the yep. first season. So he's learning as he goes. Yep. And I think he learned last game what chemistry is, man. And um mm-hmm. shout out to Ben Johnson, man. He called the a, a damn game out there, man. Salute. Yeah, salute. yeah definitely. Hey, salute, man. Brother. <laughs> to hear what myself and Coach Jones had to say about the offensive performance, man. Tune into the full version of today's. Let's sign Detroit Lions talk brought to you by Detroit Lions on the prod right here on your home for Detroit Lions news room.